For the first time in 12 years, Penn State was playing a game at Beaver Stadium after Thanksgiving, and a holiday atmosphere warmed the chill of late autumn and permeated senior day. And the latest group of Nittany Lions to play their last home game was fired up to take on 10th-ranked Michigan State. Tries to cut it outside, unable to turn the corner. Baju is there and brought him down. These are three new linebackers for Penn State. They graduated three to the NFL last year. Pitch to Baker to the outside, being chased by Agu, gets to the corner, 20-15 to the 10-yard line. Baker to the outside, he's got the corner, hit by Willis, touchdown Michigan State. Penn State has been energized by Matt McGloin, the sophomore quarterback. First down of McGloin with Worthy in his face, makes the completion. Big, tall, wide receiver, normally he's not going to make a lot of people miss, but runs right through an arm tackle. Throws down field, it's caught, inside the 20, Davon Smith. And just a great throw by McGloin up over the corner before the safety can make the play and Smith gets the football to the 16. On senior day, freshman Silas Red provided a glimpse of the future, a guy who seems to run sideways as fast as he does forward. The Nittany Lions were anxious to answer the Spartans' opening score, but Penn State's first drive was stopped in the end zone. Colin Wagner's 34-yard field goal got them on the board, though. And now it was time for the defense to slow down a Michigan State team that was trying to clinch a share of the Big Ten title for the first time in 20 years. And Tom Bradley's group forced a three and out this time. Things settled down and the score was still 7-3 in the second quarter when the Spartans reached deep into their bag of tricks. Bickle on the reverse, double reverse. They swing it near side, 45, 50, 40, near side, Martin, 30, 25, 20. It's on the 20 to the 16-yard line. Second and four, short drop, oh. Cousins throws wide open, Cunningham touchdown, Michigan State. Michigan State had never beaten the Nittany Lions at Beaver Stadium since Penn State joined the Big Ten. Quarterback Matt McGloin and company were determined to keep that streak alive. They were able to move the ball, but were just an inch or two away from breaking a big one. But they did not lose heart and the Nittany Lion defense kept things in check the rest of the half. Now this Penn State defense, they're going to have to go out. They're going to have to make a play for their offense and field position. And like you said a while ago, Penn State's playing well. They're just not scoring points. We got a third down and four situation here for Penn State. Cousins to Cunningham on the shovel. And Penn State diagnosed it beautifully. They were waiting for that play. Tom Bradley's defense that time gave him a different look right before the snap. And you see the attack to the underneath shovel there. Gets the pitch. Hit by Stupar. And then finished off by Cole Santee for a loss back in the 45-yard line. Stupar made the play. Cole Santee gets the stop. Colasanti had a game-high 10 tackles, a senior that knows how Penn State values seniors and the football family experience that allows them to pass down their knowledge and attitude to underclassmen. Tradition is a big deal at Penn State, a reason they had won 19 of their last 20 senior day games, a reason, too, that defense is so highly valued. Blitz coming, Cousins on the screen, and Penn State is right there. Stephon Morris and Ali Ogbu in on the tackle. That was great defense. These two teams have put a lot of points on the board against each other through the years, but defense was keeping this one tight until Michigan State finally put together a scoring drive late in the third quarter. Great drop by Cousins. Sets and throws down the middle for Cunningham. He's got it. Touchdown, Michigan State. The Nittany Lions had battled the double eyes all season long. Injury and inexperience. At quarterback, an injury thrust Matt McGloin into the spotlight of the starting job. The first former walk-on to start at the position, replacing the first true freshman to start at the position under Joe Paterno. Yet here was McGloin, the first quarterback in Penn State history to throw for over 300 yards in back-to-back -back games. Play action fake McGloin, Matt with a lot of time. Looks downfield, he's got Suey at the five, touchdown Penn State! The Nittany Lions do score quickly, Jack, and they're on the board. And what a job by McGloin. Look left, look left, turn back, and threw a strike. This was now a typical Penn State, Michigan State scoreboard lighter. The Spartans again went deep into the playbook. The Lions' defense was not fooled, but still, Michigan State picked up a first down that led to another score and an 18-point lead with under nine minutes to play. If there was a way for Penn State, McGloin would find it through the air. 
now sprinkled with the season's first snowflake. McLoy, perfect strike to Brown, still on his feet, across midfield, 40, down to the 37-yard line, a gain of 46. Speaking of character, Penn State has not put the sword away, have they? No. They're out still fighting, showing the character that you would expect from Joe Puss team. Give them all the Royster. Royster to the five, spins to the end zone. He ties. He's got a touchdown. Penn State. Good block by Traubman. Good block by Wisniewski as well. Just walls them off. Oh, he drove his man into the end zone from the 10. What still seemed improbable was made possible by Penn State forcing two turnovers in the last couple of minutes. Give the ball to Baker up the middle. Flag goes down against Michigan State for holding. And the ball is loose at the 50-yard line. Penn State's around and recovers. Penn State has the ball with 2.02 to go. That's why you never That's give right. up in a football game. Never quit. Out of the gun, back to pass. Throws downfield for Moy. Comes back to the ball. Gate takes it away at the 20-yard line. Adams had a great shot at it, and Moy took it away from him. It's a first down for Penn State. Rolls near side, chased by Jones. Throws in the end zone for Moy. Jump ball. He makes the catch, but out of bounds. Derek Moy made the final minutes of this game a personal showcase, living by Penn State's team mantra, play to the whistle and never accept defeat. And it paid off. Back he goes, he looks near side, he throws in the end zone off the hands of Brackett, intercepted by Robinson in the end zone, coming out to the goal line, and he fumbles the football, and Penn State recovers at the three-yard line. And Penn State gets it back. Are you kidding? He came out of there, Moy ripped the football out and recovered it. Derek Moy. Holy cow. Rolls near side, throws in the end zone. Boys there, touchdown, Penn State. Out of timeouts with less than a minute to play, the Lions had one chance, and that was to recover an onside's kick. And that's where the dream comeback died. Michigan State had their first win in Beaver Stadium since 1965, but it did not come easily. <laughs>